What is up, guys? I'm John the Potter. What are we doing today in this video? So, we got a lot going on in the studio. I'm not gonna lie, it's stressing me out a little bit. We got boxes for the Etsy restock, pots that are all going up. We got pots we're bringing to Mocha Monkey. We got like no clay left, so we're going to Continental Clay in downtown Minneapolis to go get clay. So, game plan. Go to Mocha Monkey, bring pots there, put them up on the shelves for sale. Number two, go to Costco, get food. Number three, Go to Continental Clay, get 1,250 pounds of clay, and bring it back here and unload it. And so I'm getting 600 pounds of B clay, which is like a porcelain stoneware mix that I've been doing a lot of the, a lot of the colored clay with. And then buff stoneware is what I've been using for years and years. And then we're gonna get a little bit of porcelain, and we're gonna test out if we like the porcelain. So just stay tuned to the end of the video to see us try out the porcelain clay, because I have never ever thrown with porcelain. I'm excited about it. All right, you guys ready for this? Let's do it! Oh, let's do it! Oh. I think I have everything, except for coffee. And we'll get that. Since it's unsafe to film and drive at the same time, I will be shutting you off right now. All right, well, so this car, this is my little Kia that I drive on a daily basis, but I don't really think it can handle 1,200 pounds of clay. So this is our car that we use for Monkey, this Acura, which is like the best car ever. But we just got here and it was dead. So I had to jump it because we park it on this little slope thing up here and there wasn't very much gas and it's so cold today. That happened, but we got it. We got it started. Such a good feeling when things are going wrong and then you figure something out. So now we gotta go get some gas and then get to getting. Not getting as near as much stuff done today as I would like. Okay, so turns out I was driving this car and I put some gas in it and now the hood won't close. So I'm like driving down the highway and I can see the hood like starting to go up. So that makes me a little nervous to drive all the way down to Minneapolis like that. I asked my dad if I could take his car, which I am going to do now. So this has been uh, quite an eventful car day, if you know what I'm saying. And, but first we gotta unload all this. <laughs> what a waste of time! All right, we got her unloaded. Now we're gonna head to Minneapolis, like two hours later after we originally thought we were gonna. What a day, at least I picked today to film it and a bunch of weird, interesting stuff is happening. This is a cool car though. We are here, we're at Continental Clay to get 1,250 pounds of clay. How many tons is that? Like, not a ton. Isn't a ton like 2,000? All right, let's go inside and see what we got. Twelve hundred and fifty pounds of clay right there. Shout out to Continental Clay, the best clay store. Six hundred B clay, six hundred buff, domestic porcelain. Also, shout out to my dad. Thank you for letting me use this car. I super super appreciate it. All right, let's go to Costco and then we'll go home and then we should probably wrap up this video at some point because what am I really doing at this point? Well. Obviously, I had to stop and get a coffee. I love checking out coffee shops uh, in Minneapolis. Went to Up Coffee Roaster and a little pastry, little almond Nutella. Delicious. Look how good the shot is right now with the sun, the little sun flare. All right, let's go. Seatbelt, latte, 
pastry. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today while I went and got some clay, got some porcelain. Yeah, throwing the porcelain was definitely a little bit different. It was super soft. Mike at Continental Clay said it, a lot of people say it's like throwing toothpaste. Um, so it was really soft and really malleable and I don't know, I'm interested to see how it feels when it comes out. But I, you do have to fire it to a little hotter, like to cone eight or cone 10, uh, instead of like the cone six to get to that higher vitrification. But yeah, interested to see more porcelain throwing. It's really good for the colored clay stuff. I, I think that it shows up really bright. Comment below if you guys have any questions about anything. Thanks to Continental Clay for the uh, clay today and for just being a great clay company. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, comment. Oh, shout out to my dad for letting me use this car too. Appreciate it, dad. All right, see you guys in the next video.